Hi, welcome back to the Power TV Garage. I'm Bobby Kimbrough. I grew up in the late 60s and early 70s with cars like this one behind me, 1970 Nova. I love these cars, they're spectacular. Today we're going to be talking about electronic ignition systems. I know what you're thinking, these old cars sometimes were hard to start, they were very cold blooded, you'd have to crank and crank and crank away to step on the gas pedal and try to find the right combination. A big smile would come across your face and you could drive away. That's old technology, it's out the window, it's been gone for a long time. And in 2008, MSD, one of the pioneers in electronic ignition technology, is releasing their next generation of 6AL series, the 6AL2. MSD has been making ignition boxes since the 1970s, and the MSD 6AL has been the most popular ignition box in the world. Now MSD has released a new MSD 6AL2. This is the latest and greatest from MSD, and has some big time improvements over the existing 6AL. The 6AL2 combines a brand new housing, new digital circuitry, and more power in a sleek package. You will still receive the multiple sparks like the original box, but now with a higher output to ensure complete combustion. Another upgrade is the RPM and two-step rev control built into the housing. Adjustments are now made via four rotary dials for 100 RPM increment control. It is activated by a switch that you can mount inside the car. Today in the Power TV garage, we're going to showcase a small block equipped 1970 Nova in which we are installing the new MSD 6AL2 ignition. The 6AL2 is a universal ignition for different types of engines like four, six, or eight cylinders like our small block Chevy. It allows you to set the RPMs for the two-step rev limiter, as well as the adjustment of the spark advance and retard. The ignition box comes complete with shock mounts that can be installed anywhere. This 6AL2 will go on a Nova passenger side firewall. The shock mounts will limit engine vibration and provide a cushion to prevent any damage to the internal components. Wiring harness included has everything you will need to hook up your ignition to your pre-existing components and is basically plug and play. The last step after mounting the MSD box is to wire the two-step rev limiter to a switch inside the car. This will give the driver easy access and allow the two-step rev limiter to be activated on demand. Now that we've wrapped up the installation, we're ready to hit the road. The MSD 6AL2 worked like a charm as we expected. Now we're off to test the rev limiter and two-step functions. We found a deserted road in sunny Southern California and put the two-step limiter to the test. We originally set the rev limiter at 3000 RPM just to take it easy on our first try. Once the two-step was activated, we put the pedal to the floor and the engine stayed right at the 3000 RPM range. We made sure to make one more two-step test at the 4,000 RPM range after adjusting the rev limiter one last time. All right, we're back. Let me give you a recap on what we've got so far. We've installed the MSD 6AL2 box. The installation was very easy, straightforward. The instructions were printed right on the back of the box. We took it out on the road, and this box performed exceptionally. From the moment we started up, I could tell a noticeable difference. The idle was very steady and smooth. It fired up right away. Then we took it out into the street. What I noticed was we had a lot less energy draw, so that gave us a lot more oomph. The two-step was really cool to work with. You could actually hold the two-step up, step on it. It would not go above 3,500 where I had the RPMs, and you let it go, and it'll take off and hook up down the track just perfect. I took it out. I loved it. I drove through the hills, and I have a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs>